In this episode, I spent time with my son, who I had not met for two long years. He and his wife now live in Iwakuni, a small town 40 minutes south of Hiroshima. After a great weekend spending time with my son and meeting his wife's family for the first time, we were left to our own devices to explore the region, as they had to go to work on Monday morning. We chose to visit Hiroshima, famous of course for the bomb that dropped in 1945. I wanted to visit the spot where it fell, the dome, ground zero. But first, I had to walk up the road towards the Peace Memorial Park and the A-bomb dome. Even though it was a great day, it didn't bother me at all. It's fascinating coming to a new town. My senses were working overtime. Just watching commuters walking to work was interesting. As you can see, it was very wet, so I just photographed a lot and kept my sketchbook dry on my bag. I kept noticing all the different styles of trams that came and went. They were pretty cool. I actually liked them a lot. So uh, in, in the end, I decided to feature a tram painting in this video. I thought I was going to paint the A-bomb dome, but it wasn't to be. Not on this occasion, at least. Okay, so I've finished my sketch of the street in Hiroshima. And um, next it's to to, um, to do it on a larger scale on a quarter arc arches rough paper and um, yeah so here's my s- two sketches I did and basically this is the first one and you can see in the second one that it's got less blacks and things like that um, I'm gonna have shadow areas here so the sunlight coming towards us, so this will be a bit darker in my final painting. Um, but I like this, you know, with this signal red there. And um, So if this, the actual street in Hiroshima, um, where this picture was taken, um, if I can try and point it out, uh, here's the train station in Hiroshima, and there is the A-bomb dome, just there, and I took the picture, let's see if I can get this right, I got it, just, it was here, yes, I don't know what the name of that street is, but anyway, maybe somebody else can tell me, Inarimashi, maybe, unless Tate Mashi, anyway, back to the drawing and the sketch, okay. Okay, so it's um, time to paint. Um, I've finished my uh, drawing here uh, on a quarter arc of Arches rough paper. Um, 
and then there's the sketch I did that I was quite happy with. Um, this one was the first sketch. It's very important to do preliminary um, sketches to get a feel for what you're going to do and to you know know what to take out, etc. I think from from both of these, I realize that um, what I have to do in the final painting. Um, yeah, so I'm wearing a GoPro on my my hat. I have a GoPro here. And then I'm going to have this camera that I'm holding in my hand, I'm going to put up here on the tripod on the wall. Yeah, which will film down below. Okay, so um, it's time to get going. Right, I had a break. Um, I let this dry. It's time to get going again. Uh, I will start putting in the um, middle tones and the darker tones in the finally. And then I'm working from large shapes to medium shapes to small shapes. That's the that's the way you're meant to do it, seemingly. And um, that's what I try to do. Okay, so I'm just gonna get get going. Yeah.
left now is to take the tape off. So that's what I'll do. So it's always nice to do that. So, um, the painting always has a very different feeling once the tape comes off, because then it's framed. Which is nice. Okay. So, um, yeah. There we go. Wet, rainy day in Hiroshima. Right, I've just come out of the Hiroshima Memorial Peace Museum. Uh, what can I say? Extremely sad day, um, 1945, when the Americans dropped the bomb on the town of Hiroshima. Um, I hope it never happens again. A pretty harrowing accounts of, from children who had been um, working close to Ground Zero. Um, getting back to their parents, etc, etc. Anyway, very um, emotional. I feel like um, I, I feel like I'd like to do a painting. I don't know. I, I feel like I need to create a painting about this somehow. I don't know what. Um, it certainly won't be any kind of happy painting. I've done some sketches, but I haven't really communicated what I feel. But. Um, yeah, we'll see if I produce anything in the future that I think represents how I feel right now. Well, that was the first exhibition to bring a tear to my eye. Oof. <laughs>